There is a lady that makes salt from volcanoes. Yeah, this salt. It is one of the rarest in the world, and most of us will never get a chance to taste this. He flew all around the world to Indonesia to find the last lady that makes this salt and to tell you her story, what the salt tastes like, and why it comes from volcanoes. In Southeast Asia, there is a country made up of over 17,000 islands. Yes, that is the most number of islands in the world. Welcome to... Indonesia! This is Indonesia. And if you go to the island of Bali in Indonesia, in the remote village of Kusamba, you might find this woman working on this beach. Every day, Ningapura and her family carry heavy baskets of ocean water and spill it over this black sand. These water containers weigh more than 30 kilograms. This is like carrying a 10-year-old kid on top of your shoulders every single day. She and her family fill these baskets with water 40 times a day. <laughs> After she spills the water on the sand, the sand dries out in the sun and soaks up the ocean water and the salt inside of it. Then she scoops up the sand and takes it here to clean it. She washes the sand three times until it's pure, clean, salty water. And then she pours the salty water here in the sun. When the water dries out, all that's left is this special salt. It tastes a little bit less salty and a little bit more earthy. This salt has a special taste, and that's because it's made from half ocean and half volcano. Yeah, because of the way it's made, it can taste like a volcano. But how? All right, quick break. I want to say something. These videos are expensive to make, and the reason we can make them is because of people like you who support Nas Daily. We call them Nas Daily Pro members and we give them a lot of benefits. They are executive producers, they get a t-shirt, they get a Nas Summit ticket and everything. To join Nas Daily Pro, go to this link, nas.io slash nasdailypro. We will see you there every single month and thank you so much for your support. Okay, back to the video. Well, Indonesia has 76 volcanoes. That's the most volcanoes out of any country in the world. And when volcanoes erupt near the ocean, the hot lava hits the cold water and turns into solid rocks. Over time, the ocean breaks up the lava rocks into tiny pieces until they become black volcanic sand. That's why you see beaches like this, this, and this. And because this sand comes from volcanoes, it has a lot of minerals. So when Ninga makes salt, the ocean water minerals mix with the volcano minerals. And this is why this salt tastes so good. This tradition of salt making has been around for hundreds of years. Families teach their kids how to do it so that they can earn a living and keep the tradition alive. And that's how Nenga learned this too. Kenapa saya terus melakukan pembuatan garam seperti tradisional ini? Selain karena kami sudah lakukan dari turun temurun, karena kami juga nggak punya pekerjaan lain selain ini. But all good things must come to an end, and this salt will disappear very soon. Not because of climate change or pollution, but because of money. See, 
After all of this work, a farmer might produce 10 kilograms of salt and make just $6. Most salt farmers today will quit because that's just too little money for too much work. And big companies can make salt faster and cheaper. This isn't just happening you know, here in Indonesia, it's happening all around the world. Like Juan, a salt farmer in Mexico, who's also one of the last people to make salt using his feet. Aquí el trabajo es un tanto difícil, tanto pues físico, pero al mismo tiempo es, es un trabajo que lo amo. These farmers literally carry traditions on their back. And if it weren't for people like them, we would never know what volcanic salt tastes like. Bapak berusaha untuk membangkitkan anak-anak muda. Mulai sekarang lebih mudah-mudahan lah. Kenapa? Karena Bapak ingin melestarikan warisan. So, the least we can do is buy products from local farmers whenever we can. When we do that, we're not just supporting them financially, we are helping keep their traditions alive. That's the story of salt.